All right, so now is the moment of truth. Uh, the first time that you plug it in, what you're looking for is hopefully no smoke. <laughs> I laugh because it's funny because one time I had smoke and I ruined everything. Go ahead and plug everything in. And basically what we're gonna do first is we're gonna do a quick setting on the board. That's why I'm like so close to this board. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to show it because the back, uh, the backlight is super bright. Um, but when you plug it in, you'll, there are a couple of little settings that I want to show you before we like zoom out and go to the, uh, remote control and the whole calibration process. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and plug it in and I'll show you some things on the screen cause it's just kind of hard to show the screen. Okay. So, um, sorry, I had to cut that so I could get some proper lighting here. It's really hard to capture this thing with the backlight. Anyway, um, when you get here, I'm going to show you a few things that you need to see in the menu. That way I never have to show the menu part again. I'll just tell you what to do. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is set up the motor orientation. So this board's capable of a bunch of different orientations. So you have to pick one. So first you'll hit the menu button and then scroll down to, we're looking for load motors, uh, motor layout. Go ahead and hit enter. And mine's already on the X mode, but you'll probably be like right at the top or something. So you want to come down to quadcopter. X mode because ours is in the shape of an X right as it moves forward. Once you're there, go ahead and hit enter. Are you sure? Yes. And then you're all set. So now you can go back. But actually, while you're here, you can see uh, just take note that basically over in your top left is motor one, motor two is top right, three is bottom, uh, bottom right, four is bottom left. And then also note the direction they're supposed to spin. Motors one and three spin clockwise, two and four counterclockwise. Okay, so anyways, we'll go back. And um, really at this point, you're, you're ready to, to calibrate, but I would, do wanna show one more thing and that would be go to the menu and we're gonna look for, if you screw up enough, factor reset, just take note that it exists. And then I think, sorry, I bumped the thing. Uh, receiver test, go ahead and hit enter there. And right now there's no signal because my receiver is not even on, but later these will be like ranges between zero and a hundred. So what you can do is if your board's not arming for whatever reason, or it's being weird or doing something you don't expect, you can go here and like test the actual sticks. So as you move them, you can see the values updating on the screen. And that's actually really useful. I used that to figure out why my, I couldn't figure out why my board wasn't arming the first time. And it turns out rudder was uh, reversed. So anyways, uh, we'll go ahead and go back and I'm going to move the camera back up now um, and show you guys the process for calibrating the ESCs. But when I say I'm pressing motor or er, buttons one and four, it's this button here and this button here. You're just pressing hold. So um, turning on the transmitter, throttle to full, coming over to the uh, power. This is kind of hard because I'm trying to film this and then do this at the same time and probably not shock myself would be nice, but whatever. Um, so connect, come on over here, and then to the minimum. Okay, confirmational sounding stuff, let go, and you're good to go. So what's happened is they are now calibrated and you're good to go. Now, you have a couple of choices here. You could probably hear on the board, but I really suggest more likely that you turn everything off, unplug the quad, and replug it back in. Let's try now. There we go. Okay, so I guess you have to have the transmitter on first. Uh, so uh, now what you're going to do is check the ESC. So let's go ahead, just give it a little bit of throttle, enough to make it spin and then stop. Basically, again, you're making sure motors one and three spin clockwise and two and four spin counterclockwise. Just check each of them and make sure that is the case. You should even be able to tell in the video uh, that that's working, although... Motor three doesn't look like it in the video, but it is spinning uh, clockwise. Anyway, now it probably. Okay, so uh, once you have all that set, the only other thing I would recommend is you do go into the the uh, transmitter thing where where you could see the actual sensor tests, you know, 
and make sure that the directions of your sticks are what you might expect, right? So negative is to the left and positive to the right and positive is up, negative down and so on. Make sure that's correct. And then probably to flip them, actually use you, you flip them in your transmitter, not on the board or anything like that. To uh, arm the board, it is down and to the right. To disarm the board, down and to the left. Okay, keep that in mind. Once you've got to this point, you're probably ready to put on propellers. Uh, so that's what we're going to be talking about in the next tutorial is just putting on the propellers and actually taking this thing off and all that.